for some people to show up there. We're going to get out there. We're going to graft some Anona Salzmania today. That's a uh, Anona from Brazil. From what I've heard, it's one of the best native Anonas out of Brazil. Grows by the beach side. It's supposed to have a real good flavor. It looks like a big old sugar apple, kind of. Not as bumpy. It's just smoother on the outside. It doesn't have a ton of seeds. It's supposed to be good. I've never had it. I've seen a guy fruit it. One, so at least one guy's fruited it in Florida. Good morning. Is it the morning still? I thought it was the afternoon. I've been waking up too early, man. Waking up earlier and earlier. I'm just doing my coffee. If I don't get my coffee, then I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's bad to drink coffee every day, huh? Probably got to quit one day. Oh, I just love the way it fills the house with that smell. It almost smells like cat pee. I say, is someone brewing coffee or did the cat pee? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Today's just one of them days where I have to work. I, I'd like to just sit here and relax and all that, but they're making me work today. I've got to ship out orders. I'm almost uh, ready to get out there and grab. Sorry, we're off to a slow start today. Okay. Now, I ran out of cream. Coffee beans have been inside a cat. That's true. That's true. I ran out of dairy creamer. I have a, a little bit of strawberry shortcake left. I'm so desperate for cream in my coffee that I'm going to use whipped cream from a, a dessert I had the other day. But I got to have cream in my coffee. I have no dairy here. I was going to use, um, shoot, I was going to use a smoothie I had that's got fruit in it, like guava and uh, something else, I forget, coconut and such, just to get some kind of cream type of flavor going on here, because I need a dairy. If you don't have dairy, you don't have nothing in there. I need cream in the coffee. So, that's what I did out of desperation. This is what I was going to put in as a creamer. This is what I was gonna use as my creamer, but I found some uh, found some whipped cream that I had on a dessert. And so we're almost done, son. We're almost ready to get this day started. When I was in Vietnam, they sold bean that passed through lemur. Yeah, I heard about that before. A bean that had passed through a lemur. They sit them there and they feed them these coffee beans all day long, that's all they eat. And they sit in the cage. I got some on my head. And, uh, they take a dump, and when the dump comes out, it looks like a payday candy bar. Almost totally nuts. Have you ever seen that? Payday's almost totally nuts. Well, that's what it looks like when it comes out of that cat's backside. And then they come up behind it, and they scoop it up, and they sell it for big money. Big money. Too bad there's not a, a coffee that passes through a chicken. You just sit there and feed the chicken all day. Brother, you're a testament to finding something, love, and being able to make happy. Seems sense. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate that. Here's the shipping dungeon. Thank you very much for that kind of word. There's the shipping dungeon. This is where it all goes down. This is where the magic happens, everybody. And then, so these are a lot of the plants that I have out here ready to be. This is more than I need to ship. I got some pre-wrapped from the last time that I need to get out. These are some uh, Coronada Hestingas from eBay. Looking good in the neighborhood. I picked them out bigger than what the ad said. I'm pretty sure this is bigger than what they look like in the ad. And then I got some of these. These are the Coronadas. And people are getting extras on the Coronadas. I'm um, No, the Fetranthas, rather. These are the Fetranthas. So we're going to go through. Yeah. Nice floor. Abel. I'll sweep in here one day, brother going to happen I, I don't know what am i saving this for is this something that i need people 
right there. You think I need that still? I think I ought to save on to that for another couple years. And whatever that is right there, I need that. And I, I better not throw that away. And then this box over here. This got full of used tape rolls. I need this for some odd reason. I could use that one day. And then that oil from the freeze dryer. I, I ought to use that one day too. Come on, Rex. Come on. Get them. The crate for sure, right? Okay, so I need a grafting box. We're gonna dilly dally. Oh, I gotta put you on a different mode here. That's your trove. Run the freeze dryer. I know. Tyler gave me these blueberries, and I haven't ran that freeze dryer. But I'm gonna run that freeze dryer again. I'm gonna run that freeze dryer again. I'll tell you what. One of these days, I do need to run that thing. Spent enough on it. It was real fun at first, and I was like, wait a second. Freeze drying stuff takes work, and I've already got a crap load of work to do. So I better calm down on freeze drying for a moment and take care of the plants and all that stuff, you know what I mean. It's there, it's not going anywhere. We're gonna use it one day, again. We got a really good rain out here. I fertilized the other day, again. I did put fertilizer down on the Patanga tubas, and they should start to leaf out. I see some flower buds trying to form. You're not gonna be able to see them on camera. They'll be they'll be leafed out real nice here soon. Trick is to feed them and don't over water them. And they ought to be there. Let's see if this fruit ripened up over on this uh, Aliagnus latifolia. Saw one turning color. There, it dropped. Of course, it dropped. I knew it. 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 I knew it would drop. That one dropped a little early there. Let me see. Let's see if there's a seed inside of it. Nah, it's hollow. That's hollow. There ain't no seed in there. I didn't see it if there was. I still got a chance though. I still got Big Daddy hanging on and then another one there. It's looking real good filling out. I'd like to taste one of those again. It was real good. More red jabbity kaba. Do you mean plants or fruit for sale? Because the plants are coming. I'm going to have more red jabbity kaba plants pretty soon. I got little ones that are started. I got some scarlets. They're a couple, maybe a month away, maybe longer. Plants, fruit. Let's just see how it goes this year. I don't know. If I have a, if I have a ton of them out in the field, I'll try to sell them. Maybe even do like a local pickup. You see, I threw a lot of fertilizer down gave this one a big old dose of fertilizer there. I mean, this is the Bidiba. Tons of fertilizer on that. You see all the fertilizer there. I need to prune this tree right quick anyway. Smells like shit in here. The fertilizer has just got this whole house stinking. Look at that lizard right there. Trying to say, What's he about to do to this tree, dog? He's just trying to blend in. But he, why does he got to look at me? Why could and he just run away he's like hold on let me get behind something let me get straight let me look at him he just wants to look at me yeah you're welcome you're welcome yeah it stinks in here buddy let's get up here and trim bye dog bye dog uh that was a good clean cut right there found a website with nurses and certain in there that thing nice Abel here goes, I'm going past the lizard. Let's see what he does. He ran. He jumped. Jumped over there somewhere. Oh, I clipped the wrong branch, shit. Look, I hit the wrong piece and I cut off all that. Oopsie, oopsie. I thought that was dead. You know, it's probably a good thing I cut it off anyway, but I I clipped off the wrong branch. It needed it anyway, bro. That's what I'm saying. It needed it. I need to keep this tree in check, man. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it alone for now. I think we're good. We got a little fruit on there. At least I didn't cut the fruit off, right? Everything looks good. A lot of the branches abort, abort on the tree. It looks good. Cut it. Okay, we made it out alive. 
Let me put this back here. Okay. Now we're going to walk over here to the root stocks. Smells real bad in here. These are some red Java de Cabas that I planted. They're coming up and I did just fertilize them. I just scattered fertilizer all around them. They're still too small to, sh to sell right now. Okay, these are the root stocks here. Set that there, set this here. Yeah, these are the Anona Montana root stocks. They're perfect size for grafting. I've got some that I've already grafted over here. See, this is actually an anomaly coming out. Thankful that's coming out. Another anomaly, 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 but I just, some of these look like they're gonna fail for some odd reason. It's almost too hot where they're at. We'll see how it goes. Then these are the ones I just grafted. They're trying to suck her out. I don't see any growth on them, but the scions don't look dead either. Just gonna have to wait. These can take a long time to finally push out. I've uh, grafted them before and they, they'll they take a month to push out, sometimes longer. So we'll just have to wait and see. Some action on this tree here. I don't even know what that is, but it's pushing. It's good. These ones did good. Those are good, I moved those. Those look real good. I might sell that one. Nice one looking here. That one's looking good. Doesn't look too hot. Leaves are looking good. Leaves are looking good. Good, 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 good. These are some from the other batch that I made. They just need to push out some more leaves. I'm, I'm keeping this one. But these are going to be for sale. This one looks like shit. Keeping that one. That one will be for sale eventually. So some of these need to perk up a little bit. This one's got to put on a little more growth and it'll get for sale. These are ones I just did. Anyway, some of them look like shit. Okay. Let's get out of this. I really want to clean these off because um, I was just cutting on a diseased Anona and now I'm gonna be grafting Anonas. So I wanna make sure it's real clean. I was just cutting a diseased Anona branch. So let's make sure to clean these off, right? Probably double, double spray it. I like to have a lighter. If I have a lighter on hand, I light it up. Put it on fire. It's just fun to do. Just an excuse to light something. I feel like a chef. But really, I'm that kid in school that used to light his hand with the lighter, put the uh, alcohol on it, light your hand on fire, Ooh, put it out. Am I the only kid that used to do that? Damn, I got paint on my pen, on my uh, my my uh, handle of my. Uh, damn, that's that damn paint pen. I hate that paint pen. I don't like that paint pen. Tell you what. There's a grease pen. Okay, it came off. The alcohol took it off. I take it back. I like the paint pen again. Luckily, that rubbing alcohol took that ink off. I can't have my rosewood handle stained with some kind of damn grease pen, uh, paint pen. Some grime on here this time. There's some nastiness on this blade. I don't remember what I was grafting last, but it was grimy. Left a stain on my knife. Just like a doctor does. Think about that. It's your chance to be a doctor. And the patient won't see you if you mess up. Okay. Those are clean. Let's make our way over to the tree. Take some scion wood. Uh, okay. Now, I'm about to hit the ceiling sky. I cut it off the ceiling before. Let's see what else we can snag off the tree. I need stuff that's good. See, this is good. See what we're working with here. That door blowing around is about to drive me crazy. 
Everything looks kind of like it's pushing. I gotta set the phone down real quick. Probably cut off all the flowers I was gonna get. This thing hasn't flowered yet, but I swear it's right there. If I can keep from stealing all the branches from it. If you keep taking scions all the time, you're gonna cut off the flowers. I got some scions there. Little uh, Garcinia is starting to push that I just grafted. I think those are Luke's. Some of them have already pushed, but they need to push out more before they're ready to sell. Sometimes they push out and it's just a little wimpy push and they're just not marketable when they don't have leaves, even though they're healthy. gonna trim these down wrap them up hold on one second I want to drink my coffee damn if I didn't forget to add sugar doesn't feel too hot in here but I think some days it's been getting too hot right right here is very hot Trimming these down. The little buds. Oh, buddy, it stinks in here. Sun went away. I always wondered what's the difference if you break a bud off or if you break the leaf off or if you cut it. You know what I mean? Is it better to break it off or to cut it off? The leaf. You know what I mean? Like, you go like this, that's one thing. You go like this, that's another thing. Because not only, uh, if, you, if you just break it off, you got a, a nub there and there's nothing. I mean, there is no nub. But if you leave, if you cut it off, there's a nub there that rots. It gets rotten inside when you grab, you know what I mean? It rots inside the tape. I wonder what's better, to break the leaf off or to cut the leaf off? The world may never know. That's like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie roll, tootsie pop. <laughs> But I cut them and break them, so I'll never know. I do both sometimes on the same scion. This is what I do for a living, isn't that weird? You shouldn't that weird? What do they call these things right here? The, uh, the little dots? I don't know if you can see that. Where's the camera lens at? Little dots on the, on the wood. They call them lenticels. Is that what they call that? A lenticel? See what I'm talking about? The little dots. It doesn't focus on that. It won't show you the dots. Got like little dots all on the wood. I think it's the light. The angle. Is it where it's the angle? Oh, hell. I tried to show you. I can't. Okay. 
I almost need a brick to sit on today. Almost need a brick to sit on. Hold up, let me get a bucket to sit on. I got one. It's a real low bucket. It's low, but it'll work. The low rider. This might be perfect for the occasion. I got a low rider bucket to sit on. Let's see how where it puts me. Oh, that put me a little low. That put me down low today. Squat. Let's get down low to children's level here where we could just see over the table and steal some cookies. <laughs> All right. Get my tape over here. It's too bright in here. It's burning me up. I can't see anything. I got these blue eyes and I just can't even see. The eye transplants. My damn hat fell off. Dang it. Dang old man old. Ooh, that smells good. I got it. Finally washed my hat after a long time. I'm trying to read the comments, but the glare is so intense. I can't see the dang screen. Oh, gosh. I think it's imperative, though, that when you graft these, when you graft these, that you put them in a decent amount of sun. You know what I mean? If you're going to be grafting, most of the Anonas, if you graft them and put them in too much shade, that's a beat no-no. Beat no no, baby. No beat no no. Too much shade, not gonna take, baby. It'll just languish. Stretch and roll. Stretch and roll. I'm so squinty, man, all the time, man. I need glasses. I need shades. I need some shades. Woo. It's not too hot in here, though. It's not too hot today. It's really not too hot. Bright though. I think I've got like 50% light coming through, but man, whew, it's just burning me up. That's a big sign on here. Hey, there's a dog in here. Come here, buddy. You could almost be seen on camera. Come here, buddy. Are you tall enough? Can you make, come here. Get on cameras. Hey. Yeah. There he is. He's right here. Oh, what you been doing? He just walks around on his own recognizance. I've always wanted a dog that wouldn't run away and I think I found him with Rex. He doesn't typically run away. He'll just usually hang out right around here. I say that and watch him run away. He's looking at me. His ears moved. When I pulled that tape, his ears flicked. Oh, that's so much better. I can open my eyes now and see. Oh. Man, it's amazing what a cloud can do for you. Oh, oh no, it's over again. I can't see. Just for one second, I had some. I need to make like a visor like this or something like that. That's the trick, man, is you've got to have a built-in visor. There's one where I left the nubs on. Back on Mars again, I know. Back on Mars with it. You got any questions, we could answer them, I guess. That's what I'm supposed to do. You know how to wrap these scions. Bottom to top. Slightly overlap it. Get the most of it if you can at your tape. Try not to break off any of the buds, but if you do, don't panic. Sometimes the one underneath will do it, or just don't panic. Just keep going. Just keep wrapping bottom to top, overlap and stretch. Always stretch. Remember that. If you're not stretching the tape every bit of the way, it's got to be stretched or you're not doing a good job. You've got to stretch it every time before it rolls upon that. And if it breaks, fine. Go right back over it. Go back, but stretch, darn it. Stretch. Get some pull on that. Stretch and seal. Okay, so that's a couple sounds here. Three more. Little tiny devil. We're still going to use it. Oh, buddy, that light. Oh! Oh, there it goes again. We're getting a cloud.
Yes, Jordan, of course. It's the only reason I've been growing them. This whole thing, this whole time, I've been trying to get the smallest Jabo so we could take that thing to Mars, dog. I say it's the most highly likely fruit tree to fruit on Mars. It's got everything going for it. All you need is a container. I'm just kidding around. You probably have better luck with uh, on Mars. If I had to fruit something on Mars, I'd probably just take some tomatoes, right? But if you want a good tree that's going to last for a long time on Mars, I would go with the Jabba de Cabo. Definitely a small one. Okay, let's see if we can graft these in the, in the prone position. We are removing the weeds from the base. This is the tree, you can see the size of it about a foot tall. We're gonna cut it down to a nub, if you will. Pull off the leaves. Damn that door blowing around. I think I've gotta push you back. Give you a better perspective here. I gotta get my knife. It's gonna cut right down the middle. So I made a cut, you know how that works. It's gonna take us cutting. We're gonna cut the cutting so that it fits into the... This wood is actually hard for an Anona. Very easy to cut. I, I like to graft these. They just have something about it, man. When you cut this wood, it's got a, a, a hardness that's just appealing to the grafter. You'll see one day if you're lucky enough to slice it. But I remember thinking that, dang, I'm lucky to be cutting this wood a while ago when I first grafted it and to be able to feel the, 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 the strength of it and the way the, the wood feels. But you don't know what salesmania feels like when you're grafting it compared to like, you know, just a regular old cherimoya or something, man. When you grafted salesmania, it's got some, some oomph to it. It's got some like, some bite where like it's it's got some something there where the others just don't have that that hardness of the wood and i just like it i like to graft something with a little bit harder wood when i graft the uh what do you call them the avocados man they just fall apart it's like you're grafted styrofoam who wants to graft styrofoam but that's what it feels like when you're grafting the little avocados sometimes and even the mangoes the the the, the center the pith just falls out it's just ridiculous who wants to graph that? There needs to be some, some oomph, something to it. Seeds, yeah, they're just seeds. They're just some seeds that I have, that I got from a guy. There was a guy, he had a mountain soursop, and I was like, yo, I knew that they work good for a rootstock, so I said, send me some seeds, and he sent me some seeds. That was years ago, though. A good man sent me some seeds of it. And it all worked out from there. They took a while to come up. But once they did, they did. It's not too hot. It's not too hot. I'm not even sweating in here, which is nice. And it's very bright. This is good conditions for grafting. But when it gets into the 90 degrees and all that, it's just not... It's a little too hot. So... We're gonna see how it goes. Even since I've started grafting Jabba de Cabas, you know, I've been grafting them now for, you know, 10 years or so. And the season's like changed. It's just changing, it's just shifting where I need to graft them earlier and earlier every year. You know what I mean? Before I used to, I used to graft them in, uh, I'd start grafting in, in March. But now if you're not grafting by January, if, if you're not grafting in late January, you're too late almost. So the season's like shifting on me. Something happened. I blame the polar shifting. I don't know. It's just getting to be where you got to graft them that much sooner how I feel look at that one how long I split it let's see if I can put weasel this guy in there uh, 
I, you keep seeing me do this where I trim it because I keep cutting it too far. Do I keep trimming it? Like, Don't wrap it too tight with this. You'll girdle it. If you pull too tight, I'm not pulling a real, real, you know, I'm not winding it like real thin so it'll girdle it. I've got it kind of flat when I'm pulling it, the tape, just to keep a nice flat squeeze on it. Nothing tight like a wire, but I flattened it out a little bit. It's kind of boring. I wish I could be funnier right now, but I'm just sitting here grafting trees. And there's really not much to it. Cut the tree down to a stump. Sanitize your blade every once and again. Don't forget to do that. Even sanitize these. Surprised I haven't had to sharpen this blade for almost the whole season. It's been great. I'll have to sharpen it now because I said that. This is a big scion actually and a little rootstock. So I'm going to try a little trick I do. Split it. Then when I cut this, I do a, a thin cut. You know, I just shave off a little. Don't go all the way. You're not cutting halfway through or whatever. You're just shaving off a side and another side. Huh. Now I'm about to, I am gonna have to sharpen this blade because I, I said it, I don't need to sharpen it. if I like this. Anyway, that's kind of what the cut looks like. See how I We got any Mel Tillis fans out there today? Mel Tillis, he is great, the stuttering lad. You painted up and rolled in hair. Ruby, are you contemplating going out somewhere? I like that song, it's good. And Kenny Rogers covered that. Yeah. Look at oh Ruby, don't take your love to town. She leaving now, cause I just heard the slamming of door. No way I know I heard it slam one hundred times before. Anyway. That's a good song. I like Mel. Rest in peace. He's a Florida boy. And he had a stuttering. But when he sang, he didn't stutter. Imagine that. He's in the zone. And he's not going to stutter. Oh, Ruby, don't take your love to town. It wasn't me who started that old crazy Asian boy. But I was proud to go and do my patriotic. And then, uh, Unmitigated Gall. I don't know the lyrics, but that's a funny song. even 
see that. That's the thing, if you're gonna be grafting, you better have some music on. Cause it's just not the same when you don't have music. It's so, it's painful. I got you here to talk with me, but I start singing songs and shit. I start singing stuff, man. I ain't got nothing better to do. And you know I suck at singing. I can sing better if I get some schnapps in me. <laughs> My voice gets better with schnapps. And that's actually from a movie where a documentary where a lady said that I thought that was funny you no know, you just get drunker and you think you sound better I hope some of these take because uh, these are hard to find and once they're a grafted tree they grow really well so I'm hoping some of these take I'm hoping Oh, I messed up. I messed up, y'all. I could still use that one. I'm going to have to cut it down a little further. I messed up. Y'all caught me slipping. Y'all come out of my paycheck. Damn. I got to ship today. I got a bunch of plants I need to ship today. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm running inside and I'm going to ship. I got plants to ship, buddy. You better believe it. I got some orders from the website that are a little delayed that I've got to uh, ship out. People are going to get some extra plants. The eBay orders, if you got La Fetrantha Costata seeds, I'll probably will. If you don't get an extra, don't cry about it. But I'm trying to throw everybody extras because I have a lot, of, a surplus of those. And um, I just like to help people out if we can. Shoot, if I see Texas on there, I should throw them extra plants too, huh? I feel bad for what Texas went through. I feel bad. I've been I have been seeing Texas a little bit on my on my roster. A lot of Florida buyers though. I love my Florida people too. That just makes it easy. You know, let's just keep it local, right? Right? What's up guys? What's up, Kyle Keegan? We're just crafting. Trying to make sense of this whole thing. This daily operation. I'm trying to get my daily bread, yo. That's why they called it daily bread because you baked it daily. And then now, now they're taking out all the oils and lecithins and all that. And they're making it so you don't have to bake it every day. But that's why they called it your daily bread. It used to be good for your heart. But now they're taking out all the oils that's good for your heart. You know what I mean? It's the it's the it's the daily bread conspiracy. Your heart. I don't have I don't have those for sale. No, I would just plant them. See, if I had Fetrantha seeds, I would plant them. I don't usually. I used to sell a lot more seeds, but ever since the COVID hit, there was a lot more demand for nursery stock itself. The plants. And I, I just doesn't make sense as a nurseryman to keep selling all of your seeds unless you want to, you know, I don't want to have to import all the time. So it's a real plus to be able to just go outside, get some seeds off your tree, plant them, and then sell the seedlings thereof. Oh, man, my back is hurting from sitting like that. Ugh. Yeah, that ain't going to work out. I, I can sit on low, low chairs like that.
Aha. Oh, we're just about done. Three more. If half of these take, I'll be really happy. If all of them take, I'll be really happy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past it to that. All, you know, a bunch of them take. You know, they take sometimes. I've had a lot of them fail though too. You just never know. ugly graft here but i'm just gonna make it work when i'm oh i dropped it that can't be good i think i got dirt on the union let's see what happens here yeah we're just gonna put it back in and pray i've seen worse things happen this one was what we call dodgy but sometimes it just has to work you just have to believe you gotta believe you just gotta believe if you don't believe it ain't gonna take you gotta have faith, the faith, the faith, baby. I got faith in this one for sure. Saw some cambium contact. They were touching at one point. Okay, getting down to the wire here. This one's a real small rootstock and I got a big scion. Some of this wood almost looks bad. Like, I don't like the way this wood looks, but I have to use it anyway. So we're gonna use it anyway. I appreciate that. Whoever did that, I can't see. Thanks for the $5, man. I, I wasn't expecting that. You're making me feel like only fans, man. I'm gonna start taking off my my buddy tape. Start unwrapping these graphs and show you what's underneath, under the hood, yo. I really appreciate that, man. Or woman. I can't see who did that, but I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna find out who that was. I'm gonna come at you. For real. Appreciate that very much. I have to get even with you now. That's war. Okay, I got one more graph to do. Let's use this guy here. This is a little turd graft. I mean, it don't get much smaller. That is just nothing there. If this takes, we are on to something. We've broken a record for the smallest unknown Malsania Salzmania graft in the history of the interwebs. That. And then we'll take a little bit off of this guy and pray. There you go. They get they get easier to graft the smaller the cutting is. It's real easy to cut. But will it take is the pregunta. You don't have to wrap it real tight when they're tiny like that. Just wrap it a little bit. Don't go wild on it. Watch that be the only one that takes. So, oh, I, I did look at my sapodilla graphs uh, out of six. <laughs> nice, appreciate that. Yeah, this is my only fans right here, y'all. I show people my planillas. You wanna see my planillas? Okay, these are what I just pulled off right there. Two, four, six, eight, 11, 11. I'm gonna sit right there. 
And then these are the other ones that I did that we're hoping we get some action on. All I see is growth underneath. Now, when you're looking at a graph to see if it's gonna take, you're looking at the buds and you're looking to see any activity on those buds if they're lighting up. They light up, they turn green. But see, this one pushed out and this died back. This a little anomaly that pissed me off. It's still got action underneath though. I hope it comes back out of it. These leaves are so small when they come out like that. It really is a, is a cause for alarm. I don't like it when they come out so small. I don't know what that's about. The heat. It's a little hot, but you see, you got Chris's stuff over here. Of course, his does fine. He's like in a cool pocket over here, I swear. It's like just a little cooler and breezier, but Chris did some graphs. His look great. He's got blessings upon him. These are some of Chris, Chris's little grass, graphitissa, and they all look pretty good. These ones look good. This looks real good. I feel that breeze a little bit. I feel it. These are some I just threw together. I see some activity. That's a Paulista. I don't know if you can see the the push on it there, but some are pushing. We got some good pushes here, some pushes here. Grimmels, Paulistas. What are we calling this one's pushing out? 2D. What the hell is that? Anomaly. Okay, good, good, good. I need some anomalies for sale. And I'm not seeing a ton of them. What are they calling this? Anomaly. That one looks good. Okay. We're, these wouldn't be ready for sale for a while, though, if they do take. They're still going to take a while to be ready for sale. Oh, shoot. I don't think they'll be, wouldn't be saleable for another month. Easy. Anyhow. A lot more grafting to do, and now's the time. But I got a ship. So we're going to put everything back in the box and get to shipping. Feels good in here. All right. Grandifolia. Just not ready to sell yet. It's just not ready. This one made it through the winter. I grafted it in the fall. It's just not ready to sell. Here's an old Grimmel I grafted last season that died back somehow held on got to cut that tape off of it i bet is that even got tape on it still anyhow it could work you're right what good is it a man that make what good is it if a man make a hundred dollars on his OnlyFans just to lose his soul? I'm just kidding around. This is closest to OnlyFans I could get, yo. I like to show this tree off here. The wind's blowing me in over here. It's a really dwarf tree. The Himalayan red mulberry, real small. Mulberries are going insane. Let's take a look. Now this is the one that lost its leaves before everybody else, it still hasn't leafed out. Those are still good for selling cuttings. I tried to sell some cuttings and no one really bit. I guess it was, you gotta have root stocks, but anyhow, that one's dormant. This one's totally loaded up. This is the one that didn't lose its leaves. So I don't know what's the deal with that, but you see the timing difference on that. Same variety, two different trees, both grafted. Why is that? One's loaded with fruit. The other one went dormant and didn't put on nothing. And it's not dead by any means. It's green all over. That's green, it's good. It's just dormant. And then this is your Thai dwarf, which is just, I mean, incredibly loaded. I mean, you're never gonna see as much fruit as I've never seen anything quite like it. It's just uh, where right now we're within so much fruit. It's incredible. There's just everywhere, just tons of it. There's nothing that fruits this much. That's a wall of fruit. That'll feed the village.
Wish I could share. It's just you got to be here to see it. This is that shitty ass uh, tice. It's a good fruit and all, but it don't fruit that much. I just cut them back. You see them trying to flower out some, some fruit on these. Tice, giant black. Yeah, the world's best. I like that name, world's best. What's gonna happen though when you come out with one that's a little better, people aren't gonna stop. They're gonna stop believing it's the world's best at one point because there's always a new hybrid. I like the, I like the, that's a lot of confidence in that. We're like, sorry, it's the world's best. And it was voted the world's best by the International Mulberry Association. And damn it, if you say different. Sorry. That was my rant about that. That was the grower who introduced the world's best. I want a world's best something. How did it get voted the world's best? Is that a claim that they can back up? Cause I think I got one that's almost as good. It's like the world's second best. I want the world's third best, the world's fourth best. This is, look at that. That's the um, Cena. This is a grafted one. Pretty close to best, yes. Or the world's bestest. How about better than the world's best? Mulberry. These flowers, okay. I'm gonna tell you right, I'm gonna tell you right now. These, this is something I've been trying to pound into people's heads. The seeds I got is Calycina. There's two types. There's one with a pink anther and there's one with a white anther or stamen, whatever the, these things I keep forgetting. Are those stamens at the end of the anthers, right? Whatever, the pink flowers, the pink thing. These smell incredible. These have the most incredible smell I've ever smelled on a fruit flower, except for maybe that's a close runner up between that and the miracle fruit. The miracle fruit has a honey jasmine coconut smell, which is hard to beat. But those over there have some perfume smell that's like some kind of just, oh my gosh. It smells like what, what, like a perfume that a women, women wear that smells good. These are the, um, I've had some trouble with these. Let's take a look at these real quick because I want to teach you guys something. These are Eugenia Sulcata, and I don't know what the issue is, but I've had some trouble keeping these perfectly happy. This one's pushing out, which makes me very happy. But then some of these, like like this one, just, just looks like it gave up the ghost on me. Hopefully it comes back, but it's like I'm keeping them too wet, I think. This one's looking really good, Eugenia Sulcata. Rare, hard to grow. I planted one out and it looks okay. I have them, they've been succumbing to root rot sometimes, rut rot. It's okay, this one looked really bad the other day and it's looking better. So it's like just hard to say what's up with these stupid. They're definitely not just simple, easy to grow. I wish they were for me, but I think I'm keeping them too wet. I'm not feeding them enough. I've got one in the ground over here. Anther is the top piece. Thanks, dog. I can't. I always want to say stamen. Anthers and stamens, and I just, I don't keep up on the, I, I used to know it, then I, I forgot. Pistols and. This is one I planted right here in the ground. It looks good. Thank you for that. The anthers are pink. But wait, the anther. Wait a second. The anther is the top piece. The filament is long parts. Together they are the stamen. Ryan, thank you. Yeah, dude. See, I got you got me saying anther and stamen. And then I'm like, dog, I don't even I like to say stamen. Something about stamen. Sounds like a stain that you, that Bill Clinton left on something. <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't say that. There's a, there's a little stamen right there. I've got to get these eggs out. Someone's been laying them here for the longest time. 
what's gonna happen to this tree when the, finally those eggs get released? We got some good rain, my bucket's filled. Sapukaya. Starting to think I'm gonna have to plant a lot of these out because I'm not gonna put them in bigger pots and I'm not gonna play this pot game my whole life. They gotta go on the ground and I've just gotta find spots and not crowd them. But slowly gonna end up planting a lot of this stuff out that I was keeping in pots. It's a cocktail tree and you see the trunk of flora side outgrew the red. Grafted at the same time, the trunk of flora is three times the size, but the red's fruiting and flowering. The trunk of flora side hasn't flowered yet. And I've always got to cut the trunk of flora side back. Anyway, it's just like a grapefruit and a key lime. You know, you don't put them together on a cocktail tree. Same thing with the trunk of flora and the red, is they're just not gonna be at the same pace. The red and then the trunk of flora. Le bien, le mal. This must be a strange seedling that I pulled aside. I had some cool seedlings. I don't remember this one. I have to just keep an eye on it. A lot of these need to be pulled out. I'll probably do that this weekend. This is a nice... um. Sapucaya. Yeah, a lot of sapucayas I have here, it looks like. That's what I think they are. Yeah. Let's look at this. Ah, it's got a shinner. What the hell is this? This is the glomerata planted in the ground, and it's got new growth coming out. Mircea glomerata that made it through the freezes in a real protected spot over here. I'm looking for that one fruit that made it through the winter. Shoot, nothing. Over here, maybe. It had flowers on it all throughout the winter. I just, I don't see any fruit set. A lot of shade, very crowded. I heard it's an understory tree. Uh, anyhow, I still gotta pull trees out of here. Uh, That's the um, Roxa pulpa, looking good. I grafted from them too. I tried to graft out some, took some big cuttings. You can just tell it's a Plinia cauliflower though, cause it's got them leaves. Like, you know, like Paulista, it really does look a lot like Paulista and like the one they call the hybrid from Pine Island. They just have that look to them. Flowers smell incredible over here. Let's make our way over to the tree before I go inside and ship. I wanna look at these Eugenia flowers. They were, um, about to start blooming and we got a nice rain. So I think some of these Eugenia flowers may be opening on the cherry of the Rio Grande and Eugenia Calicina. Let's take a look. And by the way, Paulista, look at Paulista. Speaking of which, look at that sucker there. That's a spec I'm in. That's your Paulista, just totally blown up with new growth. I guess it's hard to see because of the light, it's so bright. There it is. There's the shot right there. Paulista. Grafted one there. Still hasn't flowered. There's white peach white owl underneath it. She's, I remember back when you didn't get, you couldn't get shade under that tree, but now peach white owl gets shade under that tree boy you could have a picnic under that thing now that was small not long ago okay yeah 
they're starting to open up a little bit some of the calycina flowers let's take a look at this yeah some of the cherry of the rios see the cherry of the rios got the white stamens anthers filaments whatever sexual parts where the pollen was released so that was it they're they're waiting to open and then i just fertilized in here the other day i just fertilized and we got a beautiful rain right after i fertilized that's always a good sign a lot of these need the suckers pruned on them i need to prune suckers but buddy you remember these were all leafless and look burning everybody panicked and said oh he lost the farm he lost all his money it's over no still in bitten it baby steer in bitten it This one looks real bad right here. Look at that one. You'd think it's dead. But it's not. It's got new growth coming out. Every, every far. All the way to the tippy top. So it looks bad. It did have some dieback on a big branch there. Might have to. This might be all the way cashed out. Let's see. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. I pulled weeds and, and put fertilizer down. Okay, look at the Patanga tuba. You think that Patanga tuba is cashed out, right? It lost all this dead. He killed his Patanga tuba, y'all. It lost all its leaves. No, there's flowers coming everywhere on it. All the way to the branch tips. One day you guys are gonna learn. One day you'll get it. One day you're gonna figure it out. Oh, look, and look, the lichens are peeling off, buddy. It needed that fertilizer and that rain, but it's starting to shed these lichens. This just needs some fertilizer. They need more food than what I've been giving them, but they're settling in, but this looking good. This is looking like it could be a good year if we get some good rain still. Ooh, this one's lighting up. They definitely go deciduous here where they're not dead. They just lose all the leaves. And then as soon as they lose those leaves, they're coming back with flower power. So it looks like I might have a good crop finally again on the Patanga tubas. I have been waiting since I planted them maybe two years to get a good crop where they, a lot of times I notice that you take a tree that's doing really well in the container, you go and plant it out in the field and it suffers for two or three years, depending on the conditions. And then finally it, it, it has a, you know, come around where they get adapted and then you get a decent crop again. I'm hoping that it's that way this year. It's looking that way because I'm, I'm looking at the wood, I'm looking at the branches on the trees and, and it just looks like we could have a nice crop where they look real poor for a while. There's that artocarpus. You remember it had all the flowers on it? Artocarpus lacucha. It was up there. It had flowers and then it got cold and ambrosia beetle got it. There's the one-eyed chicken. He's just digging at the ground for nothing. What'd you find? His eyes opening up. He looked at me with it. What are you looking at over there? Can I hold you anymore? How come you never let me hold you? Hey. <laughs> He's hard to catch. He's not gonna trust me anymore now. If I had two hands, I would've got him. Snuggly. What's up, Trick? Come here. You gonna let me catch you? What'd you eat? <laughs> you come here. That's a guava. They've been eating my guavas. Let's see if there's any more. Cause after that rain, could have forced something to get ripe. I could use a guava right about now. He's got messed up by the cold or something. Catley guavas, yellers. See, he's just hurt the chick from yesterday. You know what's up, you want a rematch? You want at that again, huh? Get in it, go ahead, go ahead. She don't like to eat on camera.
Thank you, Dad. She wants to jump on my head. I don't know if she sees me as her dad. She sees me as a stomping ground. Ah, look. Something got these. Definitely chicken food. They're going to be coming up wild all on the property now, too. I saw one that's good to eat. I'm ready to eat one. Let's see here. I got one, y'all. I got one. It's yellow. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. I like these a lot. They don't get worms out here. That one actually had a hard spot because I guess the cold. Anyhow. The marula are pushing out growth. Marula. Wonder how much longer before it flowers. It's a really strong tree. I don't know what it would take to kill it, but that's an African tree. It's very strong. I got two of them planted out. I heard you need a male and a female. Anyway, they've done really well for me. I'm happy to have them. I should have fertilized this and I didn't. So I'll probably scoop a bunch of chicken scat onto it. Looking for them first flowers, but I don't see them. Kambukas. No flowers. Looking like it wants to flower, but who, right? It always teases. This one has flowered and set fruit before, but it fell off in the pot when I planted it. I'm looking for flowers this year. Should be a, a year where we could get some flowers on these things, man. Some flowers. I've got three of them that are flowering size, but haven't yet set fruit. Well, then this is a strange tree that at first I thought it was grandifolia. Now I just can't tell exactly what it is. If it's a Fetrantha, Grandifolia, or something else, I'm, I'm happy to have it. It doesn't quite strike me as Grandifolia any longer now that I have it. I don't know. I don't think it is Grandifolia. I think it's something else. I'm just going to have to wait and see. It's done very well for me. And it's planted right next to a Fetrantha uh, that looks just like it, but it's not. Same size, like same exact size pretty much. Two different trees. But I like them sitting there. They're good friends. Oh, friends. Taking a tube, I made it in there. Calycena going off. This is one of the better tasting Calycena trees I have here. Very good. So, all right, I'm going to start shipping some plants. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, you stay tuned. There's going to be some new stuff coming. We're going to have some good videos. Thanks for the super chat. Really appreciate that. The $5 super chat. That set me off for the month. That set me off for the month, man. Put me over the top. Thank you very much. Thank you again. Thank you very much for being here. That's that oak tree. It really brings the house together. Without this oak tree, y'all, I don't know if I'd be able to, to walk outside and call it a day. 
but I, I, I don't want to take this tree for granted. I wish I could come out and just do something to make it happy every day. I think running in the nursery might help. But then again, what if I bring some kind of ants here and it kills it or something, man? This tree just ties everything together. How much longer does, does this tree have? I'd say it's a 75-year-old tree probably, right? 50 years old at least. I hope it gets another 100, buddy. I like this tree a lot. We need this tree. We need it. Anyhow. It just brings it all together, man. You walk right outside and you're under a tree. If it wasn't here, I'd just be burning up out here. I wouldn't, can't grow as much. It just, just need that tree, man. And that tree's whack. That's a, a laurel oak and then this is a live oak. The live oak is where it's at. The laurel oak is weak. That's a stupid tree. Thank you for the stream, Ryan. Thank you very much. That's a stupid tree. That's the better of the two. Live oak. Don't plant laurels. Only live. Keep it live, y'all.